Welcome to another WNBA edition of the Power Rankings. And at number 12, I have the Tulsa Shock. Back again to the bottom ranking. I really don't know what to think about them. Because earlier, I was like, hey, they could get 10 wins. Now, I'm like, can they actually get 10 wins? We'll see. At number 11, the Connecticut Sun. I gotta say, Tian White's shot at the end of the game was beautiful to watch. At number 10, the Silver Stars. The reason they're number 10 is simply because they beat Tulsa. They're ahead of them. And I think they're still a better team than Connecticut. But those three teams are clumped at the bottom. I mean, basically season over for them. At number 9, the Seattle Storm. It looks like this Storm can make the playoffs just because of how bad the Silver Stars and the Shock are. At number 8, the New York Liberty. While they're only half a game out of the playoffs right now, while they're only half a game out of the playoffs right now, there's still just something very odd about this team. At number 7, the Washington Mystics. They had a very nice win over the Lynx, but they need to push and even just finish out the season 500 just to get that final playoff spot over the Liberty. And number six, the Atlanta Dream. It's hard to believe that at the first edition, they were the number one team at 10 and one. They're 11 and nine right now. And number five, the Indiana Fever. Here's a fun fact. During the game where Chicago was at Indiana, the first half alone, there were 31 just slip and slides by the players. It was kind of funny. At number four, the Phoenix Mercury. I feel bad for Tulsa having to lose the Mercury twice. But while those were very easy ones for Mercury, that helps their case to confirm their playoff spot. At number three, the Chicago Sky. They're 3-3 three and three since the last edition, showing they're not invincible without Elena Deladon. At number 2, the Los Angeles Sparks. They've been on a solid 5-game streak, but they're still behind the Lynx. If they want that home court advantage, they're really going to have to push it. And at number 1, the Minnesota Lynx. They're holding on to the driver's seat with a quarter of the season left to go. Let's see if they can pull it off.